Family, what's good? Welcome to Doctors Financial. If you're stopping by the channel for the first time, my name is Dr. V. I want to stop by this evening and just congratulate each and every one of you all that bought the dips through the cryptocurrency correction. Let's take a quick look at it. We can see here as Bitcoin fell, got all the way down to 29,000. But anybody that rocks with me, you guys know the three that I buy, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano, which is ADA. And I always say, just dollar cost average in, buy the dips. You may want to even weight it a little heavier when it is down. Because as we know, crypto is very volatile. But as long as you're buying through all of these downtimes, you will reap this great benefit. Look, from July 11th to here, up almost 60%. As long as we were buying through the dips, we should be sitting okay. Even if you started buying during the all-time highs up here. As long as you buy through the dips, you should be just fine. And I do believe Bitcoin, by the end of the year, it will be testing the uh, sixty dollars to $65,000 range. By the, end of, by the end of the year, I see this continuing to go up, continuing to go forward. The next cryptocurrency that I buy, and I dollar cost average into it, Ethereum. It did the same thing as Bitcoin. It had that huge crash, over 50%, but as long as, that's from May to July. But as long as you bought through all of this volatility, you bought through all of these downtimes when Ethereum was below $2,000, well below $2,000. Just as uh, recently as in uh, July, it was well below $2,000 as long as you were buying in. And that's what I said. I've just been buying the dips and dollar cost averaging in. You get to appreciate all of that. Almost 100%, 85% from July 20th to now in a month. If you've been dollar cost averaging into Ethereum. And the last one that I buy, you can't see it on Google Finance, but let's go to Coin Market Cap is Cardano. That's the last one that I buy. And Cardano, look at Cardano. Oh, wow, 205 now. And it did, let's go to the three month. And it did the same, some of the same things. You see, it was way up here, almost 240 range in the Cardano. It sank. Cardano was below a dollar at one point. I remember seeing Cardano a couple of times in the 90s, like 96 cent, 97 cent. As long as you've been buying and dollar cost averaging in through all of this, then you get to reap all of those gains in Cardano. And I'm going to continue doing the same thing when it comes to my crypto. Bitcoin, uh, Ethereum, Cardano, dollar cost average in. All righty. Well, congratulations to each and every one of you that were able to uh, dollar cost average in. And you have been reaping the benefits. Go ahead, guys. Hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel. Comment down below. Do all of those good things. What I have for you now are three uh, companies, three stocks that have been getting beat up. I mean, destroyed. The first one on the list, very familiar company to, to um, most people. It's uh, Alibaba out of China. Let's quickly go to this six month. Actually, let's go to the one year. Back in 2020, look at the numbers they were putting up. Look how far, over 40%. I talked about this a couple of weeks ago and it's still been falling. What I really want to show the family is this. Alibaba currently is trading below its, uh, below the prices that it was on November 24th in 2017. So you're going back almost four years. It's trading below the price that it was almost four years ago. This company has huge revenues, has a 20 PE ratio of 22.76. 
This company makes money hand over fist. For it to be trading at these prices, it's a great time to get in, in my opinion, and hold it for the long term. This wouldn't be a short term swing trade. You can also, if you have, if you have the funds available sitting um, sitting around, you can also sell a cash secured uh, put at around 175. You can sell the 175 cash secured put. And if you don't get a sign, you keep all that premium. And if so, you get in, and if you do get a sign, you're getting Alibaba at an even better price than it is now. But go ahead. I'm not going to get into exactly what the company does, but go ahead and take a look at what Alibaba does and how huge they are actually worldwide. Now, there are some internal things that are going on with the company that I'm not going to uh, talk about or speak on, but that could um, hamper the price in the short term but i believe long term this company will do great and it will uh get back to that 300 dollar range the next company i'm going to talk about now this company back in 2020 many different youtubers were talking about it many different people on reddit this was uh one of the hot stocks back in 2020 so many people had high hopes for this company and it's Tattooed Chef. And they sell the plant-based uh, frozen meals. You can go ahead and check them out. I never tried one. And the only reason this is, I don't own it, but the only reason I'm thinking about getting into this one is because of the fans, how many fans that this company has and how it has gotten beat up. I mean, literally destroyed today, down 16%. We can see this is getting close to those lows back in April. You can see here 1609. If we go back out to the one year, you can see back in August of 2020 was down to, at 1540. Look at here, 1494 back in December. So, but we always notice anytime this company falls, it shoots right back up. So for me, if I do decide to get in, It'll be, uh, I would uh, wait around and see if it gets to towards 15. If it gets a little closer to 15, say something like 15.50, in the 15.30, somewhere around there, I would look to uh, get in and play this as a swing trade. I would get in at 15 and I'll be out somewhere around 22, 23, uh, where it got back to in June. So if it does fall a little bit more, I look to play this strictly as a swing trade because I believe others who are big fans of Tattoo Chef see what's going on and they probably will be uh, buying more shares of Tattoo Chef. Now, remember what I said, take it with a grain of salt. I am not a financial advisor, but I, like, uh, I would like to see this in the 15s and for me to play it as a swing trade. And the last uh, company that has been getting beat up, that got rocked today, SoFi down 14%. Now SoFi is in the zone that I like it. I like it at anything under 15. I do have enough uh, shares that I want that I uh, wanted. The last time I bought SoFi, I actually got it at 14.85. So. I would look to see if it falls below where I got it last time. If it gets to the low 14s or even in the high 13s, 1420, 1380 in that range, then I'll be looking to buy more SoFi. SoFi, I do like long term. I do want to hold my SoFi um, for years. I believe for years to come, SoFi will do well long term. And we can see here. Over the past month, this is about the range so far has bounced off from. So let's see if it can hold above, uh, if it can hold above the uh, 1450 range or so. Let's see if it holds above that. If not, if it does fall and it gets into the 13s, I'll be looking to add more 
to my position. Now, the reason for Tattoo Chef and SoFi, their falls on today, they both had very disappointing earnings. Uh, I believe Tattoo Chef, they had an EPS miss of like uh, over 7,000 or 6,000 or so. Let me quickly go into it just so I can be correct. So first, SoFi missed by 772.73%. Like a 770% miss on EPS by SoFi. It reported a 48 uh, cent loss per share and it was expected they were only gonna lose six cents per share. Now going into Tattoo Chef, quickly pulling it up here on my phone. Yeah, Tattoo Chef had a 6,400% miss on our EPS and a 6% miss on revenue. So far, actually uh, beat on revenue. They just lost on earnings per share. So that's why both of those companies have failed so much on uh, in one day. It could be an overreaction by the market and they could bounce up off of previous support levels. So definitely go do your own due diligence, but those are actually uh, two. And then BABA, everything that's going on with China, then the news that they have, that's why they have been uh, falling. Now, quickly in the markets, remember guys, what I've been telling you about with the fix, we can see it's creeping lower and lower, down almost a percent today. You know, I like it around this level. In the 15s, I really love it in the 14s to buy a call option just to hedge your shares. Now, this isn't something that you uh, should go out and do unless you absolutely know what you're doing and something that you shouldn't go out and do unless you have uh, a lot of shares of S&P 500 companies and you have, like I do, a lot of uh, S&P index index funds. I have a lot of S&P index funds that I hold. So as a little hedge, I could buy a call option on the VIX. Okay, family, that's all I have for you in this video. If you got anything from the video, I kindly ask, hit that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel, comment down below, but most of all, share with others. I'm going to end this video with a prayer. And if you would like, you can go ahead and pray with me. Gracious Heavenly Father, Thank you once again for getting us through another week, Lord God. But that's us, Heavenly Father, with wisdom and knowledge so we can do well with all of our investments, Heavenly Father. Bless our families for generations to come with wisdom and knowledge so that they can have financial freedom and financial independence for generations to come. Lord God, bless us so that we can be a blessing to others. May our cups run it over. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Family, be blessed.